that is put a little bit of the light foundation for our next look, which is going to be my favorite look, is the party look. It's a very understated look. It's very sexy. It's great for proms, weddings, uh, going out to a cocktail party. It is fabulous. So now that we've got uh, the water-based foundation, which I applied with my fingers, I did a little bit of concealer. I'm now going to apply my favorite thing is highlighter. So I'm just going to put it above her cheekbone and just blend it in. You want it to be really, really seamless. So you want to know that it's there because the light will hit it naturally, but you do not want to see where it starts or where it ends. I'm going to put a little bit underneath her eyebrow. Another great place, her nose. Just run it along the top and the top lip. Very important. It's a place that a lot of women miss applying it. And this is going to look really beautiful in photos. And that's Another thing that I love about this party look, it's great for pictures. So this is gonna be a really flawless look that you can pull up any time of year. So now that we've got Julia's highlighter on, I'm gonna apply, once again, a cream blush and we're gonna use a beautiful pink. I love this pink, it's a fabulous color. Really gives a lot of warmth to the face. And I'm just gonna apply it, once again, along her cheekbone, a little bit on the apple. And then I'm gonna take a little brush after and I'm just gonna blend it. With this look, you wanna make sure that it's seamless, absolutely flawless. So always take a brush because then you just take a little bit away each time and that way you know there's nothing cakey, there's no lines, it just sits on the skin absolutely beautifully. Next what I'm going to be doing is adding on the eyeshadow and I'm using a really fun metallic, kind of a silver grey colour that has a powder finish and we're just going to apply it onto her eyelid up to the socket. And if you get a little too much on your brush, by all means, just use your hand and just take a little bit off. I like to put it on with the brush, and then I like to take my finger afterwards, and I just like to smooth it out and just get in all those creases. I'm just gonna take a brush, and I'm just gonna blend it into her socket a little bit. Just so it's nice and even. Great thing about this look is it doesn't have to be super perfect. So we're just gonna blend it, we've got it blended, and now Julia's gonna look up for me, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of the shadow underneath her eyes. The next step I'm gonna do with Julia is add an eyeliner, and I'm using a color that's uh, one of my favorite colors. It's a charcoal color, it's not super black, so it's not gonna be too harsh, and once again, I'm just gonna run it along Julia's lash line, and I'm not gonna wing this out at all. We want it to be nice and tight. There you have it. What I'm going to do now is my favorite thing is I'm just going to curl Julia's lashes. Just give it a nice squeeze and then I'm just going to add on some mascara. Now we're going to finish the look and what we're going to do is once again I've put just a little bit of the foundation and concealer on Julia's lips just to hold it on place. I'm using a light pink balm. I like the texture of it. I like that it's a great base for the gloss to sit on top of. I'm a big believer when you use gloss, you need just a little something for it to um, sit on top. That way it's gonna last you a lot longer. So now that we've got that, we're gonna add a really, really fun pink lip. And this is gonna finish off our party look and it's a great color for photos and it will go great with any outfit. And this is a really universal look. I really do love this party look. Anybody can wear it. Anybody can pull it off for any occasion. And it's just very simple, very understated, but very sexy.